So in order to understand what flame rectification is, we need to understand what rectification is in the first place. Rectification is when we take an AC signal and convert it to a DC signal. So a lot of the furnaces, the rooftop units, and the unit heaters like above here that you're going to work on that use a flame rod will use flame rectification. The flame rod is not actually sensing heat of the flame. That's a misconception. What the flame rod is doing is carrying that AC signal across that flame. The flame's actually becoming part of the circuit to ground. And once it moves through that circuit to ground, we're rectifying into a DC signal that's measurable on our meter known as DC microamps. Let me show you on this unit heater above where the AC signal comes from, and then we'll look at the DC microamp reading afterwards. So there is our flame sensing terminal right there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attach a jumper back to my meter and we're gonna check it to ground and I'm gonna show you what it reads on that flame sense terminal. So I got my jumper set up, it's attached to my lead. Then I'm gonna take the other lead, which is slightly bent, and I'm going to put it to ground and you'll see on the meter what it's reading. So the induced draft blower is running and I'm going to take the meter lead to ground and we have 127 volts AC coming out of that terminal. So this is how we're going to accomplish checking the flame signal in microamps. I have pulled the flame sensor wire off. I've got one meter lead in the wire going to the flame sensor and we have our meter set to microamps DC and what we do is we're going through our meter in series and we're going to go to the flame sensing terminal right here and we're going to hold it there when it starts up and we're going to check our reading. We are just waiting for our flame to light and there's our flame signal right there and it will start to climb as the pressure, the gas valve pressure starts to increase. Now to be 100% honest, I have not checked a DC microamp signal on a flame sensor in a very long time when I troubleshoot. And the reason being is because if the flame sensor is clean, there's no corrosion, there's no hairline cracks, it's probably good. What I do is I go to the, the control board and I check for the output voltage in AC. And if it's non-existent, guess what? The board is bad, it has nothing to do with the flame sensor, so happy HVACing.